once we have tree once we have tree how it will work so this tree is rendezvous point based tree rpt so i have a rendezvous point this router r5 is rendezvous point and i have one router who has joined this tree oh, sorry one host this host has not joined this tree right so that is what the situation that means in the past only this wanted a join a join was sent by this designated router so all the um, protocol related things they are sent by designated router that we should be making sure of and now i am explaining the delivery process so already i have a tree so this tree has one source and one recipient even you have one recipient you have a multicast group and you had a multicast so if you look at the entries of this router in existing so it has one interface which is going out and it has two interfaces which are going out no it has also one right this is i1 right so now i explain to you how that happened so now this is source source wants to send this multicast packet so this yellow is a multicast packet source will send it to its designated router so the multicast packet goes goes to the dr of the source source has one so this is my step 1 my step 2 is dr of source this dr of source it will make a register packet register packet is shown by this blue color what register packet does register packet encapsulates the yellow multicast packet into itself and this designated router sends this register packet to rendezvous point step 2 designated router of source makes a register packet and sends it to the rendezvous point rendezvous points does step 3 and 4 in step 3 it sends a join message step 3 it sends a join message to source and in step 4 it de encapsulates step 4 it de not a more place so i will go down step 4 it does two things it de encapsulate multicast packet and sends it uh -huh. de-encapsulates and sends out to outgoing interfaces so it has only one so it is sending only one interface which so is sending this to this interface it is going to r2 r2 you know of course would send to outgoing interfaces it has only one in here it will send here and it will go th to this so we have started the delivery but this is not the end this is a uh, half of the story so how i did delivery i took a multicast packet from the source it went to designated router of the source designated router of the source made a register packet encapsulated that multicast packet into it transmitted it to the rendezvous point rendezvous point did two things 
as soon as they received it, it sends a join message back to the designated router of the source and and it sends a de-encapsulated that packet out of <coughs> register and sent this multicast packet to the outgoing interfaces. In this example, only one outgoing interfaces that goes to R2. R2 has one outgoing interfaces set up in sorting table. It goes to R3. R3 is a designated router of where the H2 is on this LAN and it sends it to two. So eventually H2 wanted to get multicast packet and it got it. What is next happening? Now, this is step five. So now it is doing step two, step two. As soon R1, which is a designated router of source, it received join message, join from RP, join from RP, step three. As soon as it received join, as a result of that, it took step five. Now it is sending two packets. It is sending, still it is sending uh, a multicast packet wrapped into register. In addition to that, it is sending a duplicate copy, which is native multicast, only, only yellow in step five. So step two is going on and it adds step five to it. Step five is what? It has started sending native multicast yellow packets in addition. Step six, as soon as designated uh, this RP receives first native multicast packet, so let's say now this has received here. As soon as I have received this, okay, I will do step six. Step six would be I would send a register stop message. I would send register stop message, step six. So what I'm doing here, first I made sure that I get that multicast packet wrapped in into register. So once the register got an acknowledgement through join, I realize, okay, my register is working. I should now start my native multicast with yellow only. So I'm sending both sources, right? Encapsulated and native. When first native goes to RP, that would tell, oh, the native is working without the help of register. Now I will send a stop register. As soon as I send a stop register, I don't have diagram. So what will happen after step six? Now this will stop. This will stop. So what I will get, I will get only pure multicast yellow routing through RP to H2. So I started with encapsulated multicast into register. As soon as I received my first registers around the point, I send join. As soon as I received join at the designated router of the source, I sent a native multicast. As soon as I received my first native multicast at rendezvous point, I sent a stop register. So that would stop the register packet. Now what is having, I'm having pure multicast operation without any encapsulation where all the multicast packets are flowing from source to H2 in this example. So this is how the delivery happens in rendezvous point three. 